format. Switching format real quick. Yeah, I'm on my iPhone now. This is what an iPhone looks like compared to uh, that camera, which I didn't have my ND filter on, by the way. What's the ND filter? Ask me about that later. But I just wanted to say real quick, um, why did I get a guitar? I got a guitar because my electric guitar is at home. And uh, since I left my electric guitar at home, I've been playing my brother-in-law's acoustic Fender for a lot, for uh, quite some time. And, um, well, I don't like Fender guitars. I really don't. I don't think I ever will. No disrespect to the Fender users out there. Uh, I know Jimi Hendrix is one of my favorite, favorite guitars. All time. Probably my all time favorite guitarist is Jimi Hendrix. And he was a Fender Fender man. So, you know, not to say that you can't be a legend on Fender guitar, because there definitely are plenty of legends on Fender guitars. All I'm saying is, it's just not for me. It's just not for me. And since I have been in London and I left my MPC, so I kind of put myself in a box as far as like what I'm able to play because I didn't bring any keyboards and I don't have, uh, you know, a really nice 88 key or 61 key, whatever that I could just throw in a bag and go somewhere. So, what? I, 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 I focused on guitar. I focused on guitar. I put all my time and energy in guitar. And uh, I've since fallen in love with guitar again. Um, I think there was a point in my life when I was pretty good at guitar. The problem is guitar is like a foreign language, you know? If you don't use it, you're gonna lose it. And then when you kind of lose it, you kind of use it again, but then there's like that whole initial trial of like trying to get your game back up to where you were. And um, it's not easy to get your game back to where you were. But we did it. I, I do feel like I am back. Push, please push. I'm stepping in this park for a little bit. It's a very pretty park. Look at this. Doesn't say it's closed, does it? Shit, I'm in here. I kind of just wanted to prop this phone down for a second and just talk to you for a second. Get a nice little backdrop. Let's see if I can find the right place for that. Can this work? Mm, maybe. Let's see, can this work? I was just saying, you know, um, you, uh, you gotta throw yourself in it sometimes. You gotta force yourself to do things. And if you force yourself to do something, great, it's gonna come out of it. You gotta keep yourself in a box. It's like a, uh, a beautiful accident or honoring your mistake. Of course, I was, it wasn't a mistake for me to come to know people that do have my Lumi, my Lumi, it's like, what is it, there's maybe like 12 keys on that bad boy, so it's like one or two octaves, so you can't really do much with that, compared to, you know, a guitar in your hand, you can do a lot with that, it's limitless, you know, strap it to your back, whatever, strap it around your shoulder, whatever the case may be, you know, uh, that's all you need, and especially an acoustic guitar, which is something I've realized. I haven't had an acoustic guitar since I was in college. And even that acoustic guitar was gifted to me by the legend of Brandon Morris. Shout out to Brandon Morris in the chat. Brandon Morris was uh, Travis Morris's older brother. Uh, Brandon Morris was a senior at Woodland High School of the Arts performing our school magnet in Cartersville, Georgia when I was a freshman, I believe 
Brandon Morris was a senior, right? And Travis, my homie Travis, great friend of mine, I can go on and on about Travis. Travis, uh, Travis Morris, incredible cap. Travis Morris, wherever you are, man, send you love. I hope you're well in your world. And Travis, basically, we would go play Halo at his crib, play video games or whatever. And, uh, and uh, I noticed one day his older brother just had an acoustic guitar sitting around in his room. Truth be told, I don't know where that acoustic guitar is anymore, but he did give that acoustic guitar to me. And I think I took that acoustic guitar to college, I think. Or is that acoustic guitar at my house in Georgia still? It might even still be in Georgia. That's good. I don't know where that guitar is. But uh, I've never bought an acoustic guitar before. And uh, today, I got a really nice acoustic guitar for a great price. You know, um, I'm very happy about it. You got guitar. You can get a beginner guitar, uh, very low price. You can get a nylon, like classical guitar, very low price. Uh, this guitar, though, on my back now, it's gonna do amazing things for me. I have no doubt. And now that I have this, Acoustic. If I keep playing the rate that I'm playing, I, I'm, I'm assuming within the next six months I will have purchased another electric guitar. And the next electric guitar I'm going to purchase is going to be a Gibson Les Paul. At home right now I got an Epiphone Les Paul model. It's, it's not Gibson, but it is Epiphone. And it is a Les Paul model. And I do love that guitar. Her name is Charlene. I think, I think this is Honey. I think her name is Honey. Honey Comb. Honey. Honey is uh, my new guitar. I'm going to take Honey around the world with me because she has a great sound. I'm really excited to dig into Honey. Because she's been told I've been playing this Fender guitar for what? A minute now. Playing this acoustic guitar for How long have I been playing? Let's switch cameras. So we're in London visiting my wife's side of the family for a marriage. There was a marriage in the family. Shout out to the newlywed Swarna and her amazing husband. Uh, I his name. This uh, I think I'm pronouncing that wrong. But anyways, came here, locked myself in there, and started playing guitar because it's kind of like my zone right now. You know, not on my PC, I'm not on my electric guitar, I'm not on my piano. And I'm on schedule playing guitar pretty actively. And... I've come to realize, no shade, but I do not like Fender guitars. I don't like Fender guitars, and um, I, I don't like Fender acoustic guitars. And I can hear instantly from playing this new vintage guitar that I have, I can hear instantly the difference. The difference was instant. Like, this guitar sounds way better. No disrespect, Fender. But hey, I guess to each its own. Everybody's got their own style. Everybody's got their own, uh, their own flavor. And uh, this bad boy for me, on my back now, I think she's going to, Honey's gonna turn into uh, a real key piece to my songwriting and my journey, my voyage as a songwriter. So you will be seeing her a lot. Here you go. I would bust her out right now. But uh, I kinda wanna get back home. Bust her out in the backyard. I'm gonna go back home, bust her out in the backyard, bust out the other camera, and uh, I'll play for you a little bit maybe. I don't know. At least so you could see the whole team. You know? Um, what more can I say? Play guitar? Play an instrument. I don't care what your instrument is. Play something. Play piano. Play guitar. Play 
violin, play saxophone, play something, play it well, and play it often. Because it's going to make you a better person. It's going to make you a better human being. It's going to make you more spiritual. It's going to make you more creative. It's going to make you more focused. And learn, start with one song. And learn it until you're sick of it. Learn that song until you can play with your eyes closed. And then learn another song until you're sick of it. And then play that song until your eyes are closed. And then learn another song. And now you got three songs. And now you wake up every day and you play three songs in rotation. And what you'll find is if you are consecutively playing these songs, then uh, fight me out here. If you're consecutively playing these songs, you are going to be an incredible player. And your repertoire and your catalog will grow. And as your catalog grows, you'll feel something in your heart that is undeniable. And that is the musician within you, that is the creative within you. That's all I got to say. That's all I got to say. Look at this beautiful park, though. I love you all. Like I said, travel the world. We're on the iPhone now. I hate to do it. I would, I would stay on the DJI all day if I could, but... You know, the camera's pretty good. Might even be better in some scenarios, huh? Like this scenario. Zoom in. It's like a, um... A castle or something off in the distance over here. Look at this. Look at this. What is this park called? I don't know the name of the park, but look at it. Pretty nice, huh? Giant ass park. Never been here before. We got a chow. Look at this dog. It's a beautiful dog. Beautiful chow. Shuffling around, taking a little wheezy wheezy whiz. Alright, that's all I got to say. I love you all. Be creative. And peace out. So the only bad part about today is when I'm pretty close to the crib, it started raining. So now I'm kind of like running in the rain. This is doable. I think I'm close, but no, it's, it's coming again. I gotta keep running. It's a quaint, quaint little London neighborhood. These roads are so tight tight these roads are. Very tight. No, let's pick it up. Can't get honeycomb wet. Gotta get honeycomb. I only got a case though. Thank God. Edgeware Music went with this case. Otherwise, it should be wet. I think the case will make it through the rain, but we're pushing it. So we gotta get out of this. Come on. Okay, update, bought a guitar today. Probably shouldn't have done that, but whatever. That's what credit cards are for, right? Can't pay bills with credit cards, you gotta buy something. Uh, and it's rain, so I'm running home. Shit. Not good, it's really raining. Oh no! It's really raining. Oh no! F me! Damn it! I'm gonna have to call him back up. Luckily, homie right here doesn't mind me posted up. But oh my goodness, look how bad it's raining. It's like raining, raining. I'm gonna call my wife, tell her to come pick me up. <laughs>